Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMyMoth.com. In this video, I want to teach you how to calculate discounts. And my first problem, first example is a $500 bike is on sale for 20% off. And what is the discounted price? Now, there are two basic methods for calculating discounted prices. And let's first do the first kind. The first method is that we first calculate 20% of $500. That is the part of the price that's going to be taken off. Okay? And then we will, of course, subtract that from the 500. So, I like to do this kind of simple, when it is a simple number like 20%, I like to use mental math. And for that, always remember that the 10%. It is so easy to calculate 10% of any quantity. 10% of 500 would be just tenth part of it. You divide this by 10 and of course you get $50, okay? 10% is $50. And so 20% is of course double that or $100, right? So then that is how much we take off the price. And so we subtract 500 minus 100 and get the final discounted price as $400. Now let's look at the other method. And in this other method, we first find what percentage of the price will be left after 20% of the price is taken off. Think of it this way. The total price is like 100%, the total 100%. 20% is taken off. So how many percent is left? Okay? It's 80% of the price is left. Okay? 80% is left. And then we calculate 80% of 500. Now, to calculate 80% of $500, remember that this of translates, so to speak, into multiplication. And 500 is here, it doesn't change. And 80% we will change into a decimal. As a decimal, it is 0.8. And now you could multiply this using a calculator or just use mental math. Okay? In mental math, since it is a decimal, we first multiply as if there was no decimal point. Okay? No decimal point, we get 8 times 500, which is 4000. But since there is one de decimal digit here, we have to have one decimal digit here too. So the answer is 400 again, right? And in practice, once you, once you get used to this, you can basically go 8 times 5 is 40, and then think in your mind that, okay, it must be 400, you know, somewhat less than 500, and so it's 400. Here are some more examples. T-shirt costs $27 and it is 10% uh, off. And again, 10% is very easy to calculate. You just divide the number by 10. And this number divided by 10, okay, think that there is a decimal point here, 27.0. Move that one step backwards. So 10% is 2.7. And we subtract that amount from the $27. That's how much the price is reduced. So $27 minus the 2.7, or 2.7, either way, this zero can be added here and we get uh, $24.30. Now, a ticket costs $30 and it is 30% off. Let's now use the second method from here to calculate the discounted price. Again, 30% off, and the total price is 100%. 30% is taken off, so 70% of the price is left. We will calculate 70% of 30, which translates into 0 0.7 times 30. And here you multiply first without the decimal point. 7 times 30 is 210, right? But there's going to be here, here's one decimal digit, so here is one decimal digit too, okay? $21. Or you can just in your mind go 7 times 3 is 21 and then think, is it going to be 21 or 2.1 or 210? And obviously the answer is 21 dollars. 
Lastly, a couch that costs $299 and it is discounted, it's 18% off. Now here you could estimate, if you're in a store, you know, seeing all this info, you could estimate by rounding these numbers, right? This is about 300, this is about 20%. And uh, now you could think in your mind, okay, what's 10% first of all of 300? Well, that's $30, the 10th part. So 20% is double that or $60. So 60, about $60 is taken off of this price. It's going to be about $240. But let's do it exactly too, okay? And to find the exact answer, I'm going to use again my method number two. If 18% of the total, 100% is taken off, then what is left is 82% of the price. And 82% as a decimal is 0 0.82 and then again I go times that's the of and then this number 299 dollars and you calculate this with a calculator or paper and pencil and I've done it beforehand so it is 245 dollars and 18 cents lastly I want to look at the opposite type of problem where you are asked how many percent is the discount you know the initial price and the final price and you're asked about the discount percent for example if we have a puzzle and it costs twenty dollars and now it costs only sixteen dollars how many percent was the discount okay there is a method exact method for this but for now let's just kind of evaluate and try to guess okay it it can work guessing and checking and guessing can work I'm gonna guess that maybe the discount was 10%. You see, if the discount was 10%, that's the easy number always, I take 10th part of that, which is $2, right? 10% would be $2 off the price. But it wasn't $2 off the price, it is $4 off. And so it's exactly double that, it's 20%. The discount percent is 20. Here, a phone used to cost $80, now it is discounted, it costs $60. Let's use the same little trick. If it had been discounted for 10%, you know, $80, 10% of that is $8. Now 20% of that is double that, 16. Uh, that still doesn't match, okay? 30% of that is 24, you know, three times that number. Okay, that doesn't match either, but this discount here is $20 and it's exactly midway between these two numbers, right? 16 and 24, okay, 20 is exactly in the middle. So the discount percent must be exactly in the middle of these two or 25%. You can also see this in another way because 25% is one fourth as a fraction, right? And one-fourth of $80 is $20. So the $20 they discounted it is, ex is exactly one-fourth of this price, or 25%. My last example is a little bit more challenging. That's why I marked it with a star. And uh, here, a table cost $120, is discounted, now only cost $100. Now, if I start using this method here, I will find that it's not exactly any easy percentage like 10 or 15, 20. It's not going to be any of that. So let me show you now how this is done in an exact way. I can find this discount itself is $20, right? I'm sorry, $20. And I think, okay, what fraction is $20 of the 120? It is this fraction, this part, this part of the price is taken off, which simplifies it is one sixth. One sixth of the price is taken off. And now I just write this fraction as a decimal and as a percent. As a decimal, you would need a calculator or divide with long division. You will get 0 0.1666 and it repeats. And so as a percent, I will round it now to about 16.7%. That's our discount percent. Okay.